In the forests of late Jurassic North America, 150 million years ago, a female Diplodocus readies herself to lay this year's clutch of eggs. After finding a suitable spot in the shade of the conifer forest, the mother prepares her nest. Laying eggs was no easy task for an animal that was 25 meters long and weighed 12 tons, so the mother would deposit her eggs haphazardly in a small nest, dug out of the dirt on the forest floor. These eggs were small, just about the size of a grapefruit, a surprisingly tiny size for an animal that would later grow to such titanic proportions. The pint-sized sauropods emerged from the nest, shaking off the layer of leaves that the mother placed over them to protect the eggs and keep them warm. The hatchlings struggled to break through this leafy nest and emerge into the harsh reality of the Jurassic world, a time of fierce predators, including Ornitholestes, who had a taste for dinosaur eggs and babies. And this particular Ornitholestes had hit a jackpot, an entire nesting ground of baby Diplodocus crawling out of their nests and screeching to their mothers. The Ornitholestes stands patiently on the edge of the forest, watching the hatchlings with his hawk-like eyes. The young sauropods, no bigger than a football, are unaware of the imminent danger as they waddle through the forest in search of their mothers. Once they hatched, baby sauropods began to grow at a tremendous pace. They reached their full adult size in less than 20 years. And in order to power such rapid growth rates, these youngsters needed to eat all day, every day. They had a taste for ferns, cycads, and other soft plants that grew low to the ground. And as they grew larger and taller, they could then use their necks to reach high into the treetops. I have big teeth and I'm wild. I always lay my eggs in a nice big nest to keep them nice and comfy all day long until they hatch. <laughs>